You know that warm feeling you get when you hug someone you care about? There's actually a neurotransmitter behind that. It's oxytocin, the feeling of home in a chemical form. Oxytocin is best known for its role in childbirth and breastfeeding, but that's just part of the story. Depending on where it acts in the body, it does different things. In your bloodstream, it acts like a hormone. But in your brain, it works as a neurotransmitter, helping your brain cells talk to each other. It's mostly made in a specialized part of your brain called the paraventricular nucleus, deep in the hypothalamus. From there, it travels to other brain regions and helps you feel trust, connection, and empathy. And it has some pretty amazing effects. Even when oxytocin breaks down, its tiny fragments can still calm your body and reduce stress. It helps with healing after emotional or physical trauma and works closely with your immune system. In romantic relationships, it goes up when you're emotionally invested and can even spike if the relationship feels at risk to rescue the relationship. When your oxytocin system isn't working well, it can affect your social interactions. Research has linked low or disrupted oxytocin levels to autism spectrum disorder, depression, and anxiety. The best part, a simple hugger moment with someone you love can boost it. Oxytocin is like nature's way of helping us feel safe, close, and well. And I've gotta say, it's my favorite. It keeps us close. But dopamine, that's the one that makes us move. Next week, we dive into the molecule that's your brain's way of saying, go get it.